This is Eagle Al, and today I will be talking about Eagles lose a cap specialist and Jake Rosenberg. Also, we got to talk about Hassan Reddick and how his decision is still undecided. Lastly, we're going to talk about Fletcher Cox and how he was a menace, man. He was definitely a menace. But let's get straight into it. Hey, what's up? It's Moro Ojimo. Shout out to Eagle Al, the biggest Eagles fan out there. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. All right, so I guess before we get into the topics, y'all know every video I've been talking about how we rose man in the beginning. So let's talk about him. How we rose man again, the cap genius. So shout out to Jimmy Smith on the road to victory. He went over the cap and some new cap hits had came out. And now that all the major signings are on the books, we still have about $31 million. $31 million because Devin White cap hit is $1.7 million, and CJ Garner-Johnson is around $2.6, $2.7. So, again, all the cap hits officially came out, so we're still in that 30 range. And the crazy part is, say if we was hap happen to extend Hassan Reddick, we will be, like, in the 40 range a cap, a cap space. We can damn near sign another... Big signee. I'm not sure who's out there. That's another big signee. But we could still do that and have a lot of money left over. A lot. And again, Howie Roseman is a wizard, man. But is it Howie Roseman? Let's talk about Jake Rosenberg. So Jake Rosenberg, our cap specialist, is officially leaving the Eagles. He's been with us for about 12, 13 years. And him and Howie Roseman been probably the best duo in the NFL. I mean, he is going to be a loss. Like every year we lose somebody from the front office because the thing Howie Roseman do. But this one, everybody think it might be different. But to be honest, I will say this. As long as we got Howie Roseman, we'll be fine. If he was the guy that really controlled the cap, you don't think Howie Roseman learned some within 12 years. So, again, we always lose people in our front office. Rosenberg, no offense, he's no different than the other guys we lost because those guys were really good at their job too. But Rosenberg, you know, he probably was tired of living in Howie Roseman's shadow because, look, I just talked about the cap. Who did I give all the credit to? Howie Roseman. We've been talking about how Howie Roseman worked the cap for years. I never heard nobody mention, oh, Jake Rosenberg know what he's doing. Everybody say Howie Roseman. But it's out there. He wants to be an NFL GM. And it seemed like he just want to get out that shadow, you know, and I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he's on the team sooner rather than later, because a lot of these dudes don't know what they're doing. Think of the Cowboys. You think Howie Roseman ever take a 40 plus million dollar, 45 plus million dollar cap hit on one guy? Look at the Giants. They don't know what to do with that Daniel Jones cap hit. They don't. So it. I don't want him to go to those teams, but I'm just naming two teams that can, you know, really use them. Buffalo Bills really struggling to work the cap. It's a lot of guys or a lot of teams that can really use him. I don't want him to go in a division, of course. But best of luck to Jake um, Rosenberg, man. He he was good with the cap, man. He was definitely good with the cap, bro. All right, so let's let's talk about Hassan Reddick. Speaking of cap space, as I mentioned in the beginning, if we happen to extend Hassan Reddick, it would actually save more money against the cap. I'm not sure what's going on with that. So Derek Gunn, and we're going to use him as a source because Derek Gunn is very reliable. He basically put out a tweet to sum it up. It's like, yo, we can't find a trade partner, the Eagles. Or if we don't come to the money or to an agreement that we both agree on for us, the money and the extension, he's just going to play out his contract. It's simple as that. He's just going to play it out. I haven't heard anything of Hassan Reddick holding out. That don't even seem like something Hassan Reddick could do. I could see him playing out his contract, but it, it does suck that the Eagles and Hassan Reddick can't come to an agreement because I just mentioned the cap space and... Hassan Reddick impact on the team will be huge. So I, I don't know what's going on with that or like why are we being cheap with Hassan Reddick. 
maybe we don't think he's worth the money, to be honest. That's the only thing I could think of. But my thing is, again, and I would continue to mention this anytime we talk about this Hassan Reddick and this signing thing. How does he fit in Vic Vangio's scheme? How does he fit in the scheme? I've seen Vic Vangio's scheme. He liked to drop guys in coverage a lot, including the defensive ends. I'm not sure how Hassan Reddick fit in that scheme. I, I just don't. Anytime I see Hassan Reddick drop back, and he only dropped back, what, 7% of the time? It made me want to gouge my eyes out because I, I just don't like seeing it. It looked unnatural. It looked like something he just don't do. Because remember, Matt Patricia was trying that, dropping them in coverage. It, it just didn't work. So imagine paying a guy, you know, $24, $25 million a year. And he he doesn't fit the scheme. That's just going to piss fans off. Then it's going to be, you know, the casual fans like Hassan Reddit dropped off, not knowing the scheme and stuff like that. And, and, and that's my thing. Does Hassan Reddit fit the scheme? Uh, and everybody we saw so far is somewhat is a Vic Vangio guy. Like Zach Baum is a Vic Vangio guy. Even a PJ guy that knows stuff for guy. He's a Vic Vangio guy. A lot of these dudes were signing. And I'm not, and I'm not sure if Hassan Reddick is a Vic Fangio guy. Hassan Reddick is more of a top Bulls guy. So I don't, I, I simply don't know what we're going to do with the Hassan Reddick thing. Again, I don't want the Eagles to overpay a guy who's not going to fit the scheme. And we're going to like, yo, why is he making 25 million a year? If he's not going to go get the quarterback, that's what he's paid to do. So I, I'm not sure what Hassan Reddit is going to do. I'm not sure what the Eagles are going to do. Hopefully, you know, the best decision is made. Well, all right. So let, let's talk about uh, Fletcher Cox, man. Man, we're going to miss him on the field. Fletcher Cox was a menace, man. He, I heard he used to talk a lot of junk or he talked a lot of junk on the field. You always hear Brandon Graham, but you don't. Know, really hear too much about Fletcher Cox because he, you know, somewhat as far as with the media, he's somewhat quiet. They say, um, not Hassan Reddick, Fletcher Cox was, was a menace on the field, but let's listen to what Saquon had to say about Fletcher Cox and his welcome to the NFL moment. Yeah, Fletch and BG, but uh, Legend, they're, yeah, they're, they're great to play against. I remember one time Fletch tackled me my rookie year. And it was like impressive tackles. I was like down the field, and I was like, "It's like there's no reason why a man that big should be able to be at that spot where I'm making we're making that tackle." <laughs> and like I look up, and he's like, "Yep, it's me again. I'm gonna be your daddy for the next 12 years." And no, I'm just like, <laughs> and he's like, "I'm gonna be your daddy for the next 12 years." I'm like, I'm looking like this, and it's like at the point, like it's like I'm telling you, man, Fletcher Cox, that that intensity is going to be missed on the field, man. Hopefully, these young guys could bring it like a. Milton Williams, Jalen Carter, you know, Jordan Davis, somebody. We need somebody. Not just CJ Carter Johnson, somebody on that line. We still got Brandon Graham. But we need that young guy. We need that young guy to, you know, put fear in these other teams, man. Fletcher Cox and Brandon Graham put fear in the other teams, bro. Then when they used to, then when they signed like Chris Long and stuff, they put fear in those dudes' eyes. So hopefully one of these young dudes can, you know, be that guy, definitely be that guy. But hey, man, what do you think? And how do you feel about the news today? How do you feel about us losing our cap specialist? Is it going to hurt us? You know, is Howie Roseman actually the cap specialist or is it Jake Rosenberg? We will see. We will definitely see. Also, Hassan Reddick, again, I'm up in the air with that because my thing will always be. Does Hassan Reddy fit the system? And if he don't, why are we paying the guy $25 million if he don't fit the system? And Fletcher Cox, man. How much of an impact we're going to miss from Fletcher Cox, man? Because it's just a simple story by Saquon Barkley. You know, Fletcher Cox, he retired. I won't say like on top, but he retired. And to me, he had another two years in him. He could have played another two years. The drop off wasn't too bad for an older player. It wasn't. But this is Eagle Al. I'm 